my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing an all day foundation wear test using the Boots number no. 7. Um, it is the Stay Perfect Foundation. It's for all skin types. It's a medium coverage. It's non-stop complexion perfection. I must feel like that should be a little rap song for makeup lovers. Um, okay, maybe not. All day wear, it's got sunscreen, it's a SPF 15, and it's hypoallergenic. So, what are my initial thoughts? My initial thoughts this morning putting it on was I like, and you're going to hear me say it again, so it's probably going to be repetitive and boring, but I do like how the foundation kind of gives a really flawless look. So I did use my little brush to apply it. I didn't have brush streaks. It just gave a pretty almost airbrushed finish to it. What I also um, do agree with the packaging is it is a medium coverage. So for ladies that have beautiful skin, um, you're going to like this one because again, it's just going to really fine tune your already beautiful skin. I have troubled skin. Um, I've got red, I've got some little spotting action going on from aging. And so for me, I tend to like a full coverage foundation better. So I was really interested to see how this medium coverage foundation does on me. And I did no color correcting ahead of time. So basically I used three pumps, I believe it was, and got a really nice medium coverage foundation. But what I liked about it was I was able to build up in the areas that for me are troublesome and really got a great look. So I powdered it, I finished it, and this is kind of the how I'm gonna start my day. So starting the day, I, I already like how it looks. It's lightweight, it doesn't feel like it's sitting on top of the skin. It just feels comfortable. So I'm hoping that by the end of the day, I have as many warm and fuzzy things to say about this foundation as I just may have given it. So we'll see how this does. So stay tuned and let's see and take the journey of Boots number no. seven foundation together. We're gonna get started using the number no. seven, number no. seven, number no. seven stay perfect foundation all skin types coverage medium. So we will see how that goes. Before I put that on, we are going to use uh, Ordinary's Arcaline Solution number 10. Also use the Alpha Arbutin 2. It's um, a concentrated serum with hyaluronic acid. So that is also from the ordinary. It's part of my morning kind of routine after I wash my face. This dries. Then I go in and use my, get ready, y'all know what I'm using, the makeup primer spray from Scandinavia. So usually when, in my, some of my other videos, when I say I prepped and primed after I go ahead and wash my face, this is the prepping and the priming. Now we're gonna start with the number seven Stay Perfect Foundation. And I'm gonna just put a couple pumps on, kinda dot the face, see how three pumps work over the face. So this is a three pumps, um, again, medium coverage. So I would say it probably does great on skin that isn't red, or maybe with my skin being um, a bit red that um, maybe color correcting underneath would have worked good. So I'm gonna add an additional three pumps and kind of dot it again and let's see if we can't build this up. Really focusing more on the areas that need it, which is more my T-zone. All right, so we're six pumps in, and I think that it built it up nicely. It's um, got a bit of a dewy look, which is pretty. Of course, I'm gonna use foundation. Um, 
So we'll see how that brings down the dewy look. But what I like about this overall, my first impression, is that it's melting into the skin, not sitting on the skin. I did a review on another foundation by Tarte and it just felt like it was sitting on top of the skin, not um, really a flawless complexion. This seems to give a very natural kind of look. I kind of like it so far. So I'm gonna keep going with my makeup and see what we create um, and then do a check-in at the end of the day to see how well this performed. But I really like how it kind of melts into the skin and looks almost kind of like an airbrush finish. So. Let's okay, so it is end of day. Um, again, another really hot, humid opportunity um, living in Texas. And I wanna say it is now eight o'clock this evening. So we've had the, the foundation on for um, 13, 14 hours. I'm doing a bad calculation again. I'm telling you, after a long day at work, my brain goes dead. So anyways, um, it's been a 14 hour day with the wear test. Um, the, it's a swampy conditions. In fact, I came home for lunch, pulled up my hair because it, it was just crazy intense as far as the heat goes today. So um, how do I feel about not blotting, not powdering, not fixing any part of my makeup whatsoever for 14 hours, um, 13 hours? Let's, let's even bring it down to 12 hours. Let's assume it's just 12 hours. Um, how did the Boots number no. 7 work? Um, and again, it's a medium coverage. So I did have sunglasses on today and as I was driving around and um, I barely, this is exciting, I barely have any breakup right there. And there were several times I had glasses on throughout the day. Um, and just a smidge of pulling apart right on the nose, which y'all know I always have an issue on the top of my nose. And um, I know I was rubbing my chin, I was rubbing my eyes today. Um, it was just a, kind of an intense day overall. Um, so to not touch up anything, again, I'm, I'm rubbing on my face throughout the day. In fact, you can see where I've kind of did a big swipe there and actually rubbed off the makeup because my eyes, it, it, it's just been a day, let's put it that way. Um, so real impressed overall with this first impression of the foundation. Cause again, let's take it down to about 12 hours um, just to be on the safe side. And I'll say that it, it held up pretty well considering um, my eye makeup didn't hold up as well. My lip didn't hold up as well. Eh, the cheeks not great, but um, I'd have to say the foundation did a really good job. So I'm wondering kind of what the foundations would do, you know, for us ladies or gentlemen that through the day you can blot, powder, etc. What what would that look like at the end of 12 to 14 hours? Um, to Again, I'm just really impressed with the the staying power or the sticking power, and it is a medium coverage foundation that I built up to kind of be a full coverage. So, kudos to you, number seven. This was a great day. So, let me know what your guys' comments or experience is with this. And again, this was a foundation that I ran into because of Sabrina the Makeup Mom. So I'll put her link below so you could check out her foundation review on this and we'll go from there. So thank you so much one. for watching my video today. I really enjoyed trying out the Boots Number no. 7 Stay Perfect Foundation All Skin Types Coverage Medium. 
and this color was in warm ivory. So I really have enjoyed using different um, brands and Sabrina the Makeup Mom turned me onto this one. So Sabrina, thank you. I really appreciate it. Um, I enjoyed it. It is a medium coverage and really just overall enjoy the product as a whole. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing or refer me to a friend. And as always, you have a choice. So make it a beautiful day. Until next time.